Right, Mike, you ready? Thank you. All right, we're now welcomed in by uh, Jenny Shin. Uh, two under 69 today, 10 under for the championship. So just walk through, walk, walk through the round. Six birdies and four bogeys today, and but finished. You finished with two birdies. So just kind of talk, talk through your round a little bit today. Yeah, um, it was quite windy today. And at some point it was windier than yesterday. And I fully expected not having any wind in the morning. So that took me by surprise. And I think I was a little bit rattled on the front nine. Um, kind of, yeah, bummed out that certain birdie holes were pretty tough today. Um, and yeah, I had a few uh, miss clubbing um, coming down number seven um six as well got up and down but seven i you know couldn't do that um no seven's a sorry i'm getting holes confused 16 because no, i played the back nine yesterday right, yeah right. um but yeah it, it was tough um wind direction was slightly different so it wasn't just straight down or straight into the wind like yesterday it was more like left to right right to left so yeah, it was a it was a scramble, but I'm very happy with my two birdies. Was it a um, with, with being a uh, playing in the morning versus uh, versus the afternoon yesterday? Was the mental preparation a little different, or did you kind of take the momentum from yesterday going into this morning? Yeah, it was a short turnaround, so I didn't you know think much differently. I did fully expect um, morning groups to kind of really drive up the leaderboard and I thought at the end of the day for me um, 16 would be leading and I kind of wanted like a seven under for myself as well but um, yeah again that win was really tough um, greens are obviously a little bit quicker in the morning so there are a few putts where I blew by 10 feet so um, yeah tough okay. would you uh, talk about your final two birdies uh, and how long the putts were yeah um, <laughs> they were both inside two feet um, <laughs> Number 17, I had a perfect yardage, 114 into right to left. That's like a three-quarter pitching wedge for me. It landed 113, finished at 14. So, um, yeah, two-footer for birdie. And then 18, uh, 43 yards to the pin for my third shot. I hit it to two feet. So, yeah, I would say relatively easy uh -huh. birdie putts. So you're finishing on a, a positive note uh, going into uh, you know tonight and getting ready for tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, I, I really hope the wind keeps up for, for the fairness of the field because um, I was looking at the leaderboard and I thought, I don't know if it was windy like this yesterday morning, and if it was, that 10 under is incredibly impressive. So, um, uh, yeah, for the fairness of the game, I, I, I really hope the wind keeps up. And um, uh, I, I, looking at the leaderboard, I think we'll have a fun pairing tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to it. Did, oh, go ahead, Mike. Sorry. What? You mentioned the wind in the morning. Uh, you mentioned you were a little bit rattled, but what goes through your mind when you walk out to that first tee and you're expecting it to be calm and it's, and it's windy? Are you like, this isn't what's supposed to be happening? Or how do you sort of react to that? Yeah, I mean, I guess I wasn't prepping to to deal with 30 mile per hour wind at, at nine in the morning. So um, uh, my mindset did change a little bit. Like, hey, I don't really know what's going to happen today. It, it might not be a seven under, it might not even be four under. Um, I just gotta take shot by shot and see uh, what the golf god has uh, laid out for me, you know? <laughs> just hopefully no divots and <laughs> not too many bad lucks. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I didn't um, be so hard on myself, I guess, when I did make bogeys. Did you feel that the wind had firmed up the fairways and greens today? Um, definitely firmed up the greens on certain holes like number 18 was already browning a little bit I can see how much it dried out um, yeah the rough that I was in on the left side was pretty brown but generally like the golf course the rough's been pretty consistent um, I think with the new superintendent last year or two um, the rough's been you know pretty lush and nice so we'll see Thank you. And let's see what's the sort of mindset going into tomorrow you know, this course is capable, as shown yesterday, of, of you know giving up low scores. How do you, do you balance aggressiveness with smart golf and going into tomorrow? Um, I'm slowly getting used to really attacking the pins. Uh, there were a few chip shots today where 
I was really aggressive. I had a 54 degree kind of shut the face so I can it can do a little bump and run, but it's it's um, it's Poana, so it's a little bit unpredictable. You gotta really land it near the pin. Um, you know, I, I'm still getting used to that compared to last week, where I'm just like opening up the 58 and and hoping it stops within 15 feet. You know, so um, and, and this golf course is pretty forgiving if you miss it in the right place and. I feel like I don't know what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow, but um, you need a little bit of luck, and uh, you need to make the birdies when they come, and you just can't make bogeys. So tomorrow's all about patience, I think. Thank you. Great, thank you. Jenny. Thank you. Thank you.